If you take call bookings in your business, most likely you've come across at least Calendly. Now, there's a competitor to Calendly and to all other booking software called Cal.com. And this seems to be getting a ton of traction recently. And I'm assuming that from the time this video was published to, you know, whenever you're watching it, it's just going to grow and grow and grow. And so I want to show you how to embed Cal.com onto a Squarespace website because, as I said, I see this exponentially growing and people wanting to embed it onto their site. So selfishly, I want to be the one to show you how to do it. So without further ado, let's get into it. Alrighty, so what we want to do is sign in with Google into cal.com. If you haven't already done this, just set up your account. It's the exact same thing. So I'm going to sign in with my wireframe designers um, email. And then you can see you have your meeting types here. I'm not going to take you to the setup of cal.com. I'm sure there's better videos on that. But let's say you have set up your meeting or whatever the event type is. All we need to do is click on these three dots and click embed. That is going to bring us to, an, well, we're going to get a few options. I'm going to just do the inline embed and I'm going to copy this code. So copy this over or you can just click on here, copy code. Then we'll go to the wireframe designers website, which looks sick. And then if we go down to edit, and then let's just go down to where I've actually already got it. So you can see we're a code block here, but for the sake of showing you what to do, let's get rid of this code block. What you want to do is add block, add code, and drag this down here, stretch it out as far as you want, and then double click get rid of Squarespace's hello world prompt. And we're gonna paste that in there. And then if we hit save, you're not gonna see it in the editor because Squarespace has safe mode enabled, which you can disable, but pointless. And then we go down, you can see this was one I made earlier. And then this was the one beneath. So you can see populate really nicely. You can mess around with the styling in here. But again, this isn't a cal.com tutorial, it's a Squarespace tutorial. So that is how you embed cal.com on your Squarespace website. Hopefully you found that useful. If you did, please make sure to leave a like and hit subscribe. And if you want me to build your Squarespace website, you can get in touch using the links in the description.